Well, it's a nice sunny day today. Just had a delivery of solar panels, but unfortunately, they were packaged and stacked wrong, so one's broken. It's not too bad, we've checked them in front of the driver. We've got 24 that are okay. Trying to get hold of the seller on eBay, but he's not responding just now, so. If we don't respond, we'll have to go through PayPal, but we've got 24 good second hand solar panels waiting to go up on the roof. Just need to test that they're okay. Order some brackets and solar chargers. I'm busy trying to get the um, new stable block painted today. So the front was painted Saturday. I started painting that side, but it started snowing yesterday. side trims to do. Just on the back just now, so it's looking better. Hopefully got all the shed painted. That's it for today. Somebody's happy. Well, this is the latest update on the off-grid Bothy build. We've got all four corners built up. Actually waiting on breeze blocks coming as we want to load them onto the slab before we build the walls up and then have to carry everything through a tiny door. So, there's six pallets of breeze blocks coming this week. Travis Perkins can't give us a delivery day. It's just this week, um, so we're waiting. Just ordered 19 packs of um, cavity wall insulation. Again, off Travis Perkins, because we ordered it online, it didn't turn up, and we had to go through a charge back on the credit card to get the money back. So, not good. But anyway, like I say, the corners are built up, blocks around three sides. Just um, next challenge is to get five or another four rows of blocks and then we're up to windowsill level. And then we're going to get up to wall plate and we're probably going to stop for a wee while, concentrate on a few other jobs. So that's it. I just thought I'd, I'd add this on to the rest of the videos of today. Since we're up here all week working, trying to make the best of the nice weather, trying to get things done. Gonna paint the stable. Not sure what else we're gonna get up to. But that's it, thanks for watching. The sun is shining and we've just had a delivery of 25 solar panels, like I said in the last video. Do an update, we've got four solar panels coupled up still. We're actually going up to a new solar system on that shed roof. We're putting 24 solar panels on the, the front. In banks of six. We're putting 24 on the back so I need another 12 solar panels. Um, we're getting two smart inverters MPPT that take the input from the solar so we can put 16,000 watt of solar in. We'll have 15 kilowatt of inverter power. They'll control the generator the same as the last one. Um, but like I say we need to find another 12 solar panels somewhere. Probably going to buy new ones. So this is the current setup over there. There's eight brand new solar panels there. They've sat there for for years. I've got the brackets and everything sitting here, but not got around to coupling them up. There's always another job to do. 
that is our Lister Startomatic generator. We're not using it at present, does, does work. Inverter starts it. We don't actually need it, we've got enough solar coming in just now. It'll probably be in use in the winter. It's 6 horsepower, it's only 2.5 kVA. But it runs everything we need. It's made in 1946, so it is 75 years old, eh? Good piece of kit. So that's a solar charge, um, well, solar inverter, charge controller. That's our fuses going out. That's our Victron Smart charge controller. So that's multi point tracking, it makes them most of the solar panels, as you can see. So we're mid afternoon, sun's going down. We've got 8.3 amp coming off the solar panel, so that's not bad. The batteries are at 28.8 volt. They're basically fully charged. It says absorbent, but they are they're full. They're full. It's 239.4 watts coming off the solar panels. It's 17.6 degrees. Well, that's the, the temperature of the batteries, so they're, they're getting pretty warm. You can actually hear them. And 142.6 volts. Right, so we've got all the sides painted. Geeky's up there painting the roof. Good. We've all had one coat of paint. That's a nice night for it. So that's the shed finished painting today. Just a reminder, this, this shed is all made from free, recycled, or materials that cost le very little money. None of the tin sheets cost more than a pound a sheet. That's just used two drums of the Paintmaster dark grey oxide gloss. So they're £45 a drum just now. Very good paint. We've had to water it down because it's too thick, but it's going to get sprayed probably about July time using the Wagner 350 amp sprayer. We've done the first coat with a brush, just uh, some of its plastic coated sheets, so we've had to try and like brush it in. But to be honest, some of it's a bit thin, the paint. But just remember, the, the total cost of the shed now is £950. And it's 48 foot by 20 foot. It's gonna have four stables in it eventually. But even with the concrete, we might have 500 pounds worth of concrete. It's, it's not gonna hit two grand. So if we'd got an outside contractor to build at steel frame, it'd be about 24,000. So I think this is a bit of a bargain. Thanks for watching.